I'm very grateful indeed to those who've been organizing the People's Summit for Climate Justice around the COP26 meeting for giving us this opportunity for raising a set of issues which urgently need addressing, issues from the grassroots of the climate justice struggle. Last year in 2020, Global Witness issued our most recent annual report, which documented killings across the world. And unfortunately, the number is even higher than it has been in the last years preceding that. We recorded 227 killings. Over a third of the attacks that we recorded last year were linked to natural resource exploitation. My organization is giving a legal advisory to people who cannot afford a, a legal uh, office or a legal uh, uh, hire lawyers to build cases against mega projects that are affecting their lands, their natural resources, and even their cultural heritage. We are currently providing legal assistance to Mayan communities in the Yucatan Peninsula. And uh, as uh, discussed in the Global Witness Report, uh, 29 environmental activists in the Philippines have been killed in the last year, 2020. And in the midst of these attacks, the Philippine government continues to promote policies and activities harmful to the environment. I am the daughter of the late Philippine Chanase, who was gunned down at our house last year on the 22nd of October. She was a human rights activist Join us in this program on climate justice and the roots of conflict, hosted by the Inspire Dialogue Foundation and Global Witness.